Hello everybody, welcome to Garrett's Gaming, I'm your host Garrett, today back at it again, playing some more Empire War, this time, playing the amazing mod, Forces of Corruption Expanded. Link will be in the description below, as all of these videos. Now, this is a mod made by one of the testers for Awakening of the Rebellion, uh, Star Ghost. I don't know if you, any of you will know who that is. But they did a... I don't know if this is a total conversion. It looks like a total conversion mod for... Whatchamacallit? Get a Capital Dockyard and uh, Korlak. Oh, you can't. You? Corson. Get me a Fighter Dockyard. Um, this seems like it's going to be... I don't know if it's... It's expanding on Forces of Corruption. It's not like going to be like Awakening of the Rebellion where it just changes legitimately everything. The changes look a little bit subtle so far. Like, the UI is a little different, especially this part here. I don't know if you can see this part. It looks a lot more 3D than base game, stuff like that. I don't know how the models will look yet. I saw a little bit on the mod page, but not too much. Navigating. Let's get a little force together to see what space Confirm. fight looks like. This Runway. isn't going to be a comp campaign or anything. This is just going to be a mod spotlight, seeing Let's what my go. first impressions are. We'll so let's get a sizable force together and see. By the way, I'm playing on equal footing for all you guys wondering. We get a sizable force out. starting out. Navigating. Our starting forces are a little nuts. Um, how quickly does you build? You build fairly quickly. Nice. Fighter dockyard's almost done. There's, yeah, there's 16. That didn't seem to do anything for us. Small tanks used to create small enemies against stump fires. Yeah, I built you. You didn't seem to do anything. I don't know if that's a bug on my end. Or maybe I just don't have a high enough defense station, question mark? To deal with overcrowding on planets during war times. Okay. That might just be something on my end, or maybe I'm not 100% understanding how it works. But for some reason I built this and it didn't seem to give me anything. Maybe I'm not at the right tech level to do any of this. Level to three, okay. Anyway, I'm just going to go right into a battle. See how the space combat fares in this. Alright. Let us see how everything works in luck. So let's first off... Alright, the fighters are fairly... They look a little bit very similar to base game. There's nothing too outstanding about these ones, but they're just the fighters. Let us speed this process up. Oh, okay. We're already in their thing here, so let's drop off. Navigating to coordinates. Moving to destination. Confirm. Right away. Reinforcements canceled. Roger. Let's get a little hunter killer pack of these, and I assume your artillery. Alright, I think this is also very similar to base game. I might be wrong, I haven't played base game in ages. This too... So far I'm not seeing entirely the difference, at least in models. Except for the Arquintans, that's actually a thing here. And hey! I recognize this model. Hello, Awakening of the Rebellion model. <laughs> um... There doesn't seem to be turrets on these guys. There is turrets on this. Now, whether those are real turrets, and by the way, when they say turrets, I do mean... Hang on a minute. My audio's being lame. Oh, it just died. That's why. Okay, give me two seconds. Okay. So I think I was right in saying that this isn't a total conversion. More likely just adding in mechanics, new UI, stuff like that, just to make the game a bit more fun. And of course, adding in new ships like this, where the turrets are actually turrets. Okay, nice. I was a little worried. Pathfinding? Not terrible. Could definitely be worse. Uh, I assume you are... I want to grab you. You have to be some form of artillery ship. Barrage area. Ooh! Nice! I kind of remember when that was a thing where you could barrage an area. 
Are you... You're victory too, so you're... Ion weaponry. And you really seem insistent on broadsiding. Interesting. Get the hell out of dodge. You're about to be eaten. Uh, let's turn on this. Let's actually have this group attack this. You can definitely get out. I'll let... Let's get... Get these guys in. You guys are bombers. Start working on shield generator. It's been ages since I played base game, so I'm just gonna suck. Ooh, interceptors. Get some work done. Don't mind if I yes. And then, of course, this this behemoth of a fighter. The slave one. My favorite. One of some of my favorite chips. For the reason that I can do this. Could do boom. That's always cool. Ooh, you want to run that by me again? Hello? Hi there. You aren't okay. Hey, bombers. New destination. Delete that ginormous cannon that can almost... Or not much... I like that. I miss the chunks missing out of these ships. That's something I always loved about base game that doesn't really exist. Is the visible damage type deal. Uh, it doesn't seem like his his point seems to be here, so he probably doesn't have a dummy facing point, like I'm used to in Awakening of the Rebellion, where I usually have the front of the ship being able to hit this thing. The Victory 2 seems to be lacking that. Stop it. <laughs> Taking some damage. Let's hit the special weapon here. Boost weapon power. So this is, this feels very authentic. This feels just like Empire or regular forces of corruption, but with a little bit extra, which I don't mind. I do like playing base game. I haven't done it in a while, but I do like base game. All right, we're gonna have, okay. I guess we're about to see what happens when a ship gets destroyed. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's see what happens when a ship gets destroyed. Hey, take out this. So there are death clones. That is interesting. I haven't been paying attention to the ship when they die. Okay, nice. Focus on the hangar base so they can't keep doing that. You boost firepower, get ready to do this. And it doesn't seem like they have enough fighters to kill that anymore. Okay, nice. Barrage this general area, please. It's got some range on it. Okay, that's got some decent range on it. Nice. Alright. And this is... The space station's kind of beefy. Let's bring in the rest of our troops. Let's bring out another, some more of these just to get some more firepower added in. Let's get this, let's get this focusing fire on this just to finish it off. Again, pathfinding, not terrible. Could be a lot worse. I have played with worse pathfinding before. I think our launch bay has been disabled. Now here's the real question. Is this also like base game, where if my ships are too close, they'll get yeeted into the next century? Thank God! I hate that so much about base game. <laughs> but certainly, what are you retreating? There is no retreat for you. You are destroyed and demolished. Okay, that felt generally very similar to regular forces of corruption. Uh, um, uh, space combat, there didn't seem to be a whole lot added, at least not yet. I might be too early game to see any of the proper new stuff. Like, I know the Dreadnought's new, and the Arquitans, that was nice to see. This thing I've never seen before, that'll be interesting. Let us get together a ground force and see how the ground combat is. Let us get you... Let's unpause. You. Something else to notice, I don't have access to Darth Vader yet. That's a little shocking to me. Okay. I'm gonna leave it at that. I wanna see how a gross small ground force can really respond. 
that's generally a decent way to tell the balance is have the small force attack. And I must just not have the tech, or these aren't properly implemented yet. It is, I believe, still early access. Or not early access, but it's very early in its development, so there might not actually be a whole lot. All right. The models, I don't play enough base game to tell if that's different or not. I can only bring it, oh. Interesting. That's a, I ignore that. That was terrible. I messed with my recording. I'm a professional, I swear. Let's see what our turret options are. I'm waiting to see what the bombing run and this looks like too, because I'll be interesting to see. And let's get this going. Okay, nothing too crazy. Normal. No normal stuff that you expect to see. That's good. I like the tur the bunkers. Those are... Uh, I think those are Awakening of the Rebellion's bunkers. Or, or are they just base game bunkers? I don't... Again, I don't know. <laughs> I don't play enough base game to properly judge this, I don't think. <laughs> Oh, this is a... Oh, interesting. I have to go this way. Alright, let's speed this up quite a bit. I think the last time I played base game was two years ago. You have to get real close to shoot, don't you? Huh. It's a little weird how close you have to get to actually shoot. Nice. Okay. Head out this way and start getting ready. We took a decent amount of damage from that, I believe, from the grenade launchers. So that's interesting. Bombing run available. Okay. They also don't seem to attack unless I tell them to. Yeah, let's just see. What happens if I just don't tell you to attack? That is... There you go. Finally. All right. Let's give a good old bombing run. Also, another good thing to tell does it damage our troops. This might be really stupid, so I'm going to bring in... I'm going to bring in something else. Okay. Nice models are used in the bombing run. I like those. Let's just spread out. And you already take damage. I wonder what that's from. Okay, that just doesn't damage us. That's nice, but that's, I think, base game bombing run. I don't know for sure, though. So I'm, it's probably safe to assume this will also just be base game. Which they are so far selling themselves accurately. This is just if Forces of Corruption expanded. Though, I, it, that's bothering me how low, close they have to get to shoot. Maybe that can be something that can be adjusted? I don't know. How does the models of these look? I think those are also base game models? I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> Hi! Go bombard this area, please. Do terrible, terrible things to them. And <laughs> nice. Hey, everybody engage and shoot that. Shoot. There you go. Swap fire to... Do they have bow casters? That's actually kind of cool. Let's get some reinforcements in here. Engage that. Okay. We'll bring in veers as reinforcements. Bring in veers. That's a model. That's a new model, isn't it? I might be wrong, but that looks like a new model. Ooh, I like it. They actually come down in the ATAT -AT transport and not a weird, <laughs> weird Gazanti. That's a new model, isn't it? Call me crazy, but isn't that a new model? 
Like, legitimately, this doesn't look bad at all. This looks decent. I might be just being dumb and thinking that's a new model. Also, apparently, my infantry is just non-existent. Uh, I'm just testing this out. I don't really care about beating this thing. I just want to see how everything looks. Okay, so that's... I mean, that's not base games. That is definitely different than base games, I think. Engage! Bombard! Also, those aren't normal dirty cuts, are they? No, they're not. Nice. Hello? What's happening to my... Infantry? What happened to my... Oh, my infantry is wimpy as fuck. Okay, get bombing run, I guess. Dear God, that's proton torpedoes overpowered. Uh, but don't, we don't need to worry because this thing has deploy stormtrooper abilities. That's nice. Epic. Engage with this, actually engage with that, and also give us a nice bombardment. Epic. Alright, let's move out to here. We probably are going to win this one, just because. Vehicles seem to be strong, and I like that. But infantry could be a little bit stronger, I think. These are just wimpy, and maybe increase their range a bit, would be my feedback. Yeah, like that. Like, one proton hit them and just demolished their entire existence. <laughs> okay, hang on. Let's get, let's get some reinforcements really quick. Move out. Okay. Honestly, they, pr they, they pr provided what they promised. I was not sure what to expect, but this is honestly exactly what they said it would be. Just forces of corruption expanded, honestly. Attack! Destroy this general direction. Oh! Ooh, that was nice. That was epic to see. <laughs> Get destroyed, nerds. Let's bring you in because you can fly. Where's their base of operations? Hello? Are you here? Here you are. Mercenary barracks. Nice. Drop and some reinforcements, because I don't know if these guys have any... I don't think they do, honestly. Ooh. Okay, that I like. It turns into a vehicle. This turns into a flying vehicle as he's going. You can tell by the little line here. Nice. Um, is that it? No, there's not. There's a couple more here. All right. Won that battle pretty handedly. That just felt like base game combat. Like, it, I kind of like that. I kind of just, yeah, it's just Empire War expanded. <laughs> There's nothing fancy about it. Like, I'm sure there is later on. Ooh, to ban gas refiners. That's already something new. Um, There's so much of this I haven't even tapped into yet because I'm still at base tech level. So there's still so much stuff I could tech up into. This seems like just a fun mod, like legitimately, just like a fun little revert back to basics kind of mod, and I like that. I would recommend playing this, like legitimately. Like, I don't think it has the, at least not yet, the tactical of um, Awakening of the Rebellion or anything like that, or the visuals of Remake, but it really brings the thing back down to earth. This is just Forces of Corruption, but better. I like that. I would definitely recommend go, so go down in the description, check out that link I put in there, and just play the mod, show them some love. This is out, this is kind of epic. Not gonna lie. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!